this tune you're hearing. This is, of course, the Green Onions tune. It was a very, very big hit in the early 60s in this country, and of course, it was composed and recorded in Memphis, Tennessee, right here in the United States of America. And you know, people, I believe that this tune can be equated with the great classical music around the world. Well, now you go to Germany, you got your Bach, your Beethoven, your Brahms. Here in America, you got your Fred McDowell, your Irving Berlin, your Glenn Miller, and your Booker T and the MGs, people. Another example of the great contributions in music and culture that this country's made around the world. And as you look around the round world today, you see this country spurn. You see facts turned on this country. Well, people, I'm going to tell you something. This continent, North America, is the stronghold. This is where we're going to make our stand in this decade. Yeah, people. I got something to say to the State Department. I say, take that archaic Monroe Doctrine and that Marshall Plan that says we're supposed to police force the world and throw it out. Let's stay home for the next 10 years, people. Stay right here. say I'm just talking about the music people and what it does to me and that is as you look around around world you go to Soviet Union or Great Britain or France you name any country everybody is doing flips and twists just to get into a genuine pair of American blue jeans and to hear this music and we got it all here in America the land of the Chrysler 430 cubic inch engine 